But don't you feel like the sexuality is like trying to get out, but it doesn't, you know? It's like if you don't smell fried chicken, you don't want it so bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. No, it makes sense. D different from my culture where it's like, there's <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. Like every block, there's like a huge KFC. <laughs> you know? so, sexuality in Chinese culture kind of doesn't exist. And I don't want to say that to just represent anyone and everyone in that massive country, but growing up, you really don't talk about sex. I only really started to know things when I was already in college. I mean, it's just like everything starts really early there, yeah. like sexually, <laughs> which I don't think it's a bad thing. If you want to, you can have you 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 can get it done. It's like not hard. You can get a boyfriend and or you know or a girlfriend even. If you're say. 9 or 10 or 12 and you want to explore, there are probably things you need to know. Like how do you touch yourself? How do you touch you? How do you place your partner? What's the It was just like me and my group of friends, we were just like all discovering things all at the same time. So it was like really, it was really interesting to be like, oh, did you do this? Oh, did you do that? No, 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 you know? Yeah, sometimes I feel it was a little bit too soon. I wish I could have like, you know, played more, have been a kid more, you know, mm. not been worried about boys. What about like masturbation like before? I did not know that until it came to the States. I didn't know about masturbation for a long time either. How long was long? I grew up in the States. Uh, yeah, he was doing it kind of as a kid, but like in high school, some of my friends were like, we're masturbating, like this is what I'm doing. Well, so you guys talked about it in high school. Oh yeah, my group of friends in high school were very much open about mm. things of that sort. I think that's helpful though. It was. I actually do have a family relative. My my uncle is impotent. Yeah, like I found out. No, I didn't find out. I my just, mom. I get. I, I start laughing when I get nervous. I'm sorry. <laughs> my mom told me probably like two years ago because there's like family struggle, whatever drama and all of that. Because he's impotent. No, sorry. His <laughs> wife is about. super nice, and then like he, she only found out after they had got married. Oh. So, but she was like, I think he's a really good person. You know, he's the right guy to have a family with. I think they tried really, really, really hard to like withdraw a lot of things and they had a baby. Like doctors and stuff? Yeah, or? like a lot to, just to have a baby because you have to carry the bloodline, which is stupid. Like, I see my parents as kind of like my friends. Oh, God, you know? I'm so jealous. We're always like making jokes oh. about stuff, but we're always like, <laughs> you know? You do that with your parents? I yeah. I do with my parents now. You too, do? But my dad, like, I moved into a new apartment a few months ago and I got a mattress. And my dad was, and I was like gone for a month. And my dad was like, I hope no one's like, Using that mattress when you're gone, if you know what I mean. I was like, <laughs> Dad. My mom had this talk with me. It was so funny. She had a friend who passed away. One of the the causes, the main causes of the the disease, was uh, her like not having sex for 35 years. Not having sex causes cancer. I think so. She found out her. She invited her best friend to her house, and the best friend had sex with her husband, and she got so pissed, and she just stopped having sex like completely. Uh, it was bad. It was a sad story, but. Oh my God. My mom had this talk with me. She's like, you know, you're as way. I was like, yeah. And mom's like, you know, there's, there's certain things that you need to start doing at a certain age when you're a girl. It's time to think about your personal affair. And by that, she meant marriage. Yeah. So she was basically saying that, hey, you, you need, need to get married, get married <laughs> so you can start having sex, sex. so you can <laughs> stay healthy. And I was like, The, the appreciation of, of queer culture is huge. The appreciation of what? Of queer culture. Oh, okay. And there were TV shows that were used as a selling point, but in the government last year was like, no more accepting that as something natural. Like, that's like something that I just like scream, it's not a choice. They're born that way, it's not a choice. Um, but they have never, they were never exposed to that. So it's hard for them to just register that in their mind. Mm -hmm. So if so you see it, like. If you, you see it more, like, it's like, oh, this is what people do, this is just like any other thing. And Your I, mindset changes. Yeah. I'd even like tell my mom, I was like, mom, we had an emperor in ancient China that's gay. Oh, -hoo. In Brazil, you're still gonna get smirks. You're still gonna yeah. get like, what are they doing? Like, you don't have to show this to everyone. Like we accept it, but like, why are they doing that? My, my roommate hooked up with one of my friends who's Chinese and he was like, she's like sexiest. <clears throat> I suck, but um, 
She kisses really weird. He's like, she kisses with her tongue, her tongue out, but mouth closed. I was like, like this. <laughs> like how do you get like that? But yeah, like the, it's just. <laughs> Is there, how do you like kiss? Wait, how do you kiss with your? How does he know her tongue is out if her mouth is closed? Because you just see little you, tongue. Like, you, you is it literally it? like no lips? It's just not, like licking. Like I don't. It's just licking, like no. Mwah. Oh, she's literally just oh. like. No, but with her with her mouth closed. Like, so you're just yeah. like you don't get that like passionate like. <laughs> Entangling of two bodies is kind of like, like mm. oh. so gender roles in my culture. I like was awoken to feminism when I was in high school, but up until that point, it was very much like my mom was the one cooking all the time, but also working full time, but cooking all the time, always looked dolled up. It was very, it was traditional. Uh, when I was awoken to feminism and I like, they're like, oh, that's awful. That's like what all those like really? lefty communists talk about. Like that's bullshit. That's what my parents it, tell me too. Yeah. But yeah, like my family's kind of the opposite. Mm -hmm. and also it depends on where you are. Like for me, like where you come from in China. Cause this one part, Shanghai, like Shanghai guys are known for taking care of their, their wives. Really? Yeah. Cause like was, Shanghai's considered like the, like the gentleman hub. Where my family come from comes from the northeast part of China. It's like, mm. but then the girls are kind of like that too. Mm, okay, so but in different. Brazil until today, it's very apparent that the man still lead. It was very clear who was leading. It was very clear who had the highest salaries. It was very clear who could you know sleep <laughs> around and do everything they wanted and whatever. Me. Uh, girl in my immediate family and so I'm the one vessel of child that exists <laughs> like my mom talks about grandchildren all the time she packed away my American oh girl my dolls and yeah it was like it's for your grandchild like, I'm not married like I that's like <laughs>